Kaya niyo dito sa una. How will the users know that you are compliant with IFRS? Eh di syempre, isasama mo siya as your disclosure. Ang tawag natin doon, statement of compliance with IFRS. Dapat yung disclosure mo ng compliance with IFRS is explicit and unreserved. Okay? Pag sinabing explicit, kailangan banggitin mo doon. The quality of video and audio na pinakita namin dito is different from LCRC's online CPA review. Mas malinaw ang audio and video ng sa LCRC. For more information about LCRC's online CPA review, pakibasa na lang ng nakalagay sa description box below. Chua Company Statement of Changes in Equity for the year ended December 31, 2020. Okay, gagawa na tayo ng changes in equity. So, magsisimula siya sa si Chua Owners Equity January 1, 2020. Remember, for the year ended December 31, 2020, Therefore, yung beginning of the accounting period is January 1, 2020. And itong ginagawa natin na changes in equity is kukunin lang natin dito sa mga data na nakalagay sa worksheet. So, nandito ang income statement account sa lower part, then yung upper part yung balance sheet accounts. Si Chua, Camp, si Chua Owners Equity, January 1, 2020 is Si Chua Capital, so 1.51 million. Actually, sa problem, hindi naman given yung owner's equity ng January 1, 2020. Hindi given yung beginning balance ng capital. Walang available na given na beginning balance ng capital. So, we will assume na lang na itong nakalagay sa worksheet ng December 31, 2020 na 1.51 million na beginning balance ng capital account. After ng beginning balance ng capital, idadagdag natin ang additional investments ng um, owner so dito sa ating problem hindi naman given or wala namang given na, owner, na additional investment so hindi na natin sasama yung additional investment and yung isa pang i-add natin yung profit ang profit ng business ay 586,000 na galing dun sa income statement na ginawa natin 586,000 total 2,096,000 less si Chua with drawals na Chua withdrawals, 200,000. Therefore, si Chua owners equity as of December 31, 2020 ay 1,896,000 pesos. And Yang owner's equity na na-compute natin sa statement of changes in equity is yan na yung lalabas as capital balance sa post-closing trial balance which is gagawin natin later. Dahil remember sa closing entries natin ang profit ay kinuklose sa capital, ang withdrawals ay kinuklose sa capital. 
Therefore, pagdating natin sa post-closing trial balance, yung capital na mag-a-appear doon is yung amount na naka-reflect sa statement of changes in equity. Since tapos na ang ating statement of changes in equity, we're in 1.896 million ang Situa Owners Equity as of December 31, 2020. Gagawin na natin yung balance sheet. Balance sheet, so magsisimula tayo sa assets. And yung assets, classification niya ay current assets and non current assets current assets una cash 72,000 pesos accounts receivable 136 merchandise inventory 723 so yung ending inventory na yung lalabas sa ating balance sheet prepaid advertising na 50,000 pesos Next, office supplies. Office supplies. Balance niya ay 25,000 pesos. Therefore, total current assets ay 1,006,000. million. Non-current assets. Land. 400,000 pesos. Dito tayo lagi titingin sa portion ng balance sheet ng worksheet. Next. Office equipment. net Pag nakakita tayo ng line item ng property plan and equipment na may nakalagay na net, ibig sabihin yan ay net book value. Meaning, cost ng PPE minus accumulated depreciation. So, office equipment book value is office equipment at cost na 570,000 less accumulated depreciation office equipment 170,000 pesos therefore net book value ng office equipment ay 400,000 pesos next office building net office building uh, 1.6 million ito yun, 1.6 million less accumulated depreciation office building na 115,000 pesos Therefore, net book value ng building ay 1,485,000. 1,485,000. Total non-current assets ay 2,285,000. Therefore, Total assets ay 1.006 million plus 2.285 million equals 
3,291,000. Next natin is liabilities, accounts payable hanggang capital. Okay, liabilities and capital. So, liabilities, una yung mga current liabilities natin. Accounts payable, 74,000. Accounts payable, 74,000. Next, salaries payable. Na? 21,000. Notes payable, due in 2 years. So, yan ay hindi current liabilities. Yan ay non-current. So, hanggang dito lang ang ating current liabilities. Total current liabilities ay 95,000. Next, non-current liabilities. We have notes payable na 200,000 notes payable due in 2 years na 200,000. Next, mortgage payable. Mortgage payable, so yan ay non-current, 1.1 million. So, pag mortgage payable, kapag hindi minention yung term, kapag silent, yan ay non-current. Okay, next, capital. So, total non-current liabilities natin. So, capital na yung susunod dito. E di ito lang ang ating non-current liabilities. 1.3 million pesos. Therefore, total liabilities ay 1,395,000 Then, Sechua Capital December 31, 2020 Manggagaling to sa ginawa nating Statement of Changes in Equity kanina which is 1,896,000 pesos. So, yung statement of changes, yung capital or yung owner's equity na nandun sa statement of changes in equity na ending balance is yun din yung mag a sa capital bal sa capital section ng ating balance sheet. 1,896,000 Therefore, total liabilities and capital. So, dapat balance ang ating balance sheet. 1.395 plus 1.896, that is 3,291,000. So, balance ang ating, ating balance sheet. So, nagawa na natin yung balance sheet. Tapos na ang ating income statement, changes ng equity, tapos balance sheet. Okay, so meron tayong income statement. Income statement, statement of changes in equity, and yung ating balance sheet. So, ang kailangan natin gawin kasi is financial statement. So, meron pa dapat tayong gagawin na statement of cash flows but yung problem na sinosolve natin is hindi enough yung given para makapag gawa tayo ng statement of cash flows and ito yung ating sinosolve na problem and meron siyang mga requirements so ang required niya worksheet and adjusting entries so, tapos na to. Nagawa na natin to. Financial statements. So, nagawa na rin natin to. Yung cash flows, hindi natin magagawa kasi hindi sapat yung 
given ng problem. Next natin gagawin is closing entries. So, closing entries. So, i-close natin yung um, revenue accounts or income accounts, expense accounts, tapos yung withdrawal accounts sa capital. And sa closing entries, gagamitin pa rin natin um, itong worksheet para mapadali natin yung closing entries. Makikita natin agad kung ano yung mga figures and yung mga accounts na subject sa closing entries.